You know, as we get older, we realize that good communication isn't just about being heard. It's also about really hearing other people. Listening and talking are two sides of the same coin, and they're both equally important. Listening is how you learn, how you connect with others, and how you build better relationships. Sometimes we're so busy thinking about what we want to say next that we forget to really pay attention to what's being said. You never know what you can learn and from who. And then there's talking. It's important to say what you mean and mean what you say. By this stage, we've all learned that our words carry weight. Whether you're encouraging someone or setting boundaries, the way you talk matters. So balance it out. Listen carefully, and when it's time to speak, do it with intention. Listening to others is so very important. Unfortunately, we tend to judge people by where they live, their job, or by how they look, making assumptions about what they know, and whether or not what they would say would be of any interest to us. A big mistake. If you are open-minded, you can learn from anyone. Listen, you might like what you hear. And listen, most importantly, what other people think of you is really none of your business, so don't let their insecurities and their jaw-jacking control how you behave. I know, I know, that's easier said than done, but once you let that sink in, you feel free, free to ignore them, free to stay focused, and free to let them go. People are going to have their opinions about you, regardless of what you are doing and how you are doing it. You can't make everyone happy, and trying to make others happy will only ensure that you definitely won't be. Their thoughts and opinions don't pay your bills, and what they eat can't make you shit, so let the haters hate, because that's their business. So don't take things personally. People are dealing with their own stuff, and often what they say and or think about you is a really reflection of themselves, not you. Let them have their opinions. It's not your job to change them or prove anything. Focus on how you feel about yourself, your life, your goals, and your dreams, because that's what truly matters. I think, by the time we hit 50, we've all played the comparison game at least once or twice, am I right? Oh, it's just me? Oh, okay. What do we get from this game? Nothing but frustration and constipation, and who needs more of that? The truth is, comparing yourself to others is the absolute biggest waste of time. You are where you are supposed to be right now, and your journey is yours alone. No one else has lived your life, faced your challenges, or experienced your victories. So why compare your story to someone else's? Everyone's timeline is different. Maybe your path looks nothing like the next person's, but that doesn't mean you're behind or off track. Instead of looking around and wondering if you measure up, focus on your own growth and your own progress. You're exactly where you need to be, and the rest will fall into place when it's supposed to.